Hey guys, Corporal G here coming at you from COC Kentucky. Uh, game port or game table still currently down. I don't know when it's going to be able to be put up, but I've been painting pieces. Got everything painted. Got everything magnetized. It's awesome. I can't wait to play. So today we're going to show some neutrals of the European area or Eurasia. And here we go. Let's start with the, the Swedes. Here's our new fight stand. Just a little simple color. And the base, I got those 3 8 stickers. Put the man in there, glued it, and put this on top. Now, some of them aren't this neat. Sometimes some just have a hole in the magnet. That's it, nothing else. Here's a militia. Unfortunately, my camera only wants to do five minute segments, apparently, so it's gonna be a lot of starting and stopping. No decals, just uh, Axis and LS classic. And here's all their boats torpedo boat destroyer. Also sub. Let's do this in the set. Coast defense ships, keeping it simple. And down the road, I might paint some pretty cool boats. But right now, I gotta mark these. So that's the reason I have them out. On that, then I'm done. Done. Just like that. A little yellow. Now, moving on. Anti-aircraft gun. And I just went with other cam camo schemes on Google. This is a 3D printed. My very first one. My friend had a 3D printer and he I designed this and he printed it off for me. Came out pretty nice. Artillery. And a light tank. All right, Yugoslavia. Yeah, you can see. Some of them aren't the neatest, but they work. Whoops. Some of this, these guys actually got some overspray on accident. That's why you had those white spots. Didn't mean to. I thought everything was covered up. I was just doing a little hasty spray real quick, and I guess I got a little too much on there. No decals too, I just painted the tip purple, since, you know, Yugoslavia is purple. Alright, let's go to Switz. We got their fortification, nice and simple. Put that across, it's just clear. The German mountain troop from historical board game. This is my first neutral I painted. For some reason he does not want to stay. There we go. Excuse me. Alright. Moving on to let's go to Portugal here. This guy's made for the Africa. Oh, a little paint chipped off there. I don't know, I forgot what the territory is called. Portugal, Portugal, Africa, something like that. And this is for the Portugal homeland. Did I forget to magnetize that guy? I sure did. Well, you know. Keep him on the side. His barrel fell off, unfortunately. And these guys was pretty brittle anyway. Real quick before this video ends, one torpedo boat destroyer, marked with the yellow stripe. All right, give me a second. Okay, moving on. Whoop! Got Ireland here. 
forget what these guys are called. They're like the guard or something. The Royal Guard, maybe. Pretty simple. Moving on to Denmark. Yeah. And I just go to Google, type in you know, World War II Denmark infantry or Denmark soldier. And I just look at the very few pictures, what's kind of common, and just paint that scheme. There's no, there's whatever's close to it. It's not really exact. Sometimes they're really hard to find color schemes for these bad boys. All right, let's go to Belgium. Got one for Belgium Congo. Little militia. And for Belgium itself. With a whistle, you know. The Germans are coming. <laughs> oh, and an artillery. And I think I wrote the actual colors that I used. So hopefully if I ever do a painting video, I'll refer to that. And here's our quick Baltic states. Uh, I forgot which one's which, so don't. Don't uh, get too crazy with it. And these guys, I just, I just put paint on there. It wasn't deliberate. I wasn't trying to go crazy on there. Here's some Czech Republic. Just made some Germans here. Got what box these guys came in. I just used a Netherlands roundel and turned it kind of sideways. It's not the perfect one because the red's supposed to be on the right side, and the blue on the left. But from far distance, that kind of resembles pretty close. Got a tank, a little German light tank. And another airplane. Just kind of keeping it simple. Like I said. Alright, moving on Greece. With their heavy cruiser. And their infantry. Got one militia. One mountain. And I actually printed an Argentine roundel, Argentina. So I just took a blue pen or a blue paint and just painted, making the light blue a dark blue. Because my printer wasn't working at the time. So whatever works. But I definitely prefer painting them or uh, printing them off instead of painting. Like Cobra, I have no clue how you do such a good job painting their bases. It's crazy. I don't have the patience for that, that's for sure. Alright, let's do some more because some of the videos about to cut off again. We'll do the bigger guys later. Hungary, I think. And this is normal paper instead of the uh, cardstock. You can see uh, it's kind of coming up. So, cardstock is way better when you print off your roundels. I'm kind of glad I painted the neutrals. It gives them a little, little variety here. I really do like these guys. What are they? Bulgaria? Yeah. They turned out really good. Gosh dang videos. But it's probably sitting on my phone. This is the uh, Axis Nows Miniature Romanian Calvary. You can get these in five packs from like Etsy or something. Really cheap. I highly recommend getting them. All right, this is um, shoot, Norway. I tried to do the yellow, painted it all yellow. 
but from the board you can't see the border of this thing so it didn't matter I had to use the yellow rings even with Poland I got a white base and a green base another militia and their infantry that was pretty pretty uh excited to paint those guys for some reason and I'm pretty sure this is an actual Norwegian coastal defense ship and I just painted a little red circle with a blue dot in there it's not pretty that's for sure oh Austria Hungary I think or Austria All right, Romania. Probably my favorite painted neutrals. You'll see here right now this guy. I don't know why. This is probably one of my favorite infantry dudes. I just dig the gas mask. So I painted two just because I can. And these are the guys who actually painted enough to where I don't chip them out. So they have like, what, five infantry? And I just painted off five of them. Romania is a pretty big territory, so it was fine. And an actual Romanian. So I just repainted the uniform, kept the horse the same color. And these were pretty fun to paint. Torpedo boat destroyer. Um, Battle of the Bulge. German truck. Opel truck. Actually got two magnets on there. Maybe three on accident. I glued it. Then I was peeling one off, another magnet off, and it just zoomed in there and it got glued. I was like, yep, yeah, it is what it is. Extra sticky. Another 3D printed factory. Minor factory. Tank. And the BF 109. Whoops. Gosh darn. One second. All right, let's do this again. All right, we've got a Poland factory here. Prime historical war cannon. Tank. a and a Classic Lane, or Fighter. Again, I don't worry about the bottoms. Torpedo Boat Destroyer. And our infantry. Oops. Is it good for planes, not dudes? I was worried about, you know, having a white base. I cannot hold his own or anything. And a where is it at? A green base, but you really don't see it when it's on the game table. Man, I cannot hold these guys. If you guys want, I can see if I can upload these half-inch roundels. If anybody's interested in them. It's just a lot easier than painting them. That'll be a half-inch. 
It's just a half inch acrylic disc. Will come with a, I guess, a protective paper on both sides. You can take them off with an X-Acto knife, or some. I just leave them on. But with all the drilling and stuff, it is a little easier if you take them off. That can be a pain in the butt. So I just got too lazy and stopped worrying about it. I think it's too bad. See how it sticks out a little bit. I just get a sander and sand that right off. Alright, zip the poles. Moving on to Mighty Finland. Coastal Defense ship. I do got the expansion, so I just put them on these guys, on the stands, or I mean tokens. In no particular order. These are just some German. Much uniform guys. These are magnetized too. There's ten of these guys. I was thinking about making individual ski troops, and kind of realized this just might be a better idea. There's not that many of them. If that makes any sense. I don't have to worry about real estate being taken up. Like I do wish I didn't have to put the color code rings where it does make it a little thicker to save space. But that's the only thing I could come up with. So that's going to work. Whoops. I kind of like how they turned out. I might get an actual finish infantry and paint them up instead. All right, last one. They're still a European country, but they're mostly in the Southeast Asia. The Netherlands. All right, the jungle uniforms, green one, and light blue is their home country. Oops. I'm gonna paint in some Anzac guys here. Their general uniform. Got a few, I think about eight infantry, six militia or so, and four mountain dudes. I'm just kind of scared over there. You can check them out. They came out pretty good. Got some of their seaplanes. Got two of these. I really like that camo scheme. I got one. This is the first one I painted. There's a the second one. And then their boats. Battle cruiser. Is that 1047? Yeah. Ghost ship. Submarine. Heavy cruiser. Torpedo boat. Transpo. Do like how historical board can put that T in there. It's more likely a gun. You know, you can imagine it, or a T. I really don't know. But it's pretty neat, I think. Light cruiser. Then some destroyers from the Xeno version of Axis and Allies. You got the decal in the rear on that one. And a mighty coastal sub. I forgot to show Norway's 
um, shoot, you know what it is, Ghost of Gun. I am thinking about replacing this sculpt though. Well, that's it for the uh, European neutrals, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I might do all the other neutrals in one video. I was kind of having some phone problems, so hopefully I can edit that stuff. That's it. All right. Catch you later.